a dog breed that's well known for herding and protecting abilities. Rough Collies are strong, loyal, affectionate, responsive, and fast. The rough-coated Collie has a beautiful long coat that flows as he runs, and his head is a smooth and elegant wet shape. Rough Collies can do well in the country or the city, but they need companionship and daily runs or long walks. Although they are a little less active than Border Collies, Rough Collies do need at least 45 to 60 minutes of outdoor activity every day. Surprisingly, once he is back inside, he is very calm and happy to sit in a lounge with you. In this video, we are counting down the top 10 most interesting facts about the Rough Collie. Number 1. Their History the ancestors of today's rough collie worked as herding dogs in the Scottish Highlands. As partners to sheep herders, not much has been recorded over time about this breed. However, Queen Victoria shifted public attention to the breed in the 1860s, and they quickly became a favored breed of the wealthy upper class. In the 1950s, the rough collie breed became better known as the all-American family dog thanks to Lassie. Over the TV show's two-decade run, it became apparent how devoted and faithful the breed was as Lassie saved Timmy from the well and warned her family of danger each week. Although Hollywood sometimes exaggerates a lot, the depiction of the Rough Collie as a loyal protector couldn't have been more right. Today, the Rough Collie is ranked among the top 50 most popular dog breeds by the American Kennel Club and continues to be famous for his loyal, loving, and protective demeanor. Number 2. Their Size When full-grown, Rough Collies range from 22 to 26 inches tall at the shoulder, weighing between 50 to 75 pounds. Male Rough Collies are larger than the female Rough Collies. According to the American Kennel Club, the well-fitting, proper textured coat is the crowning glory of the rough variety of collie. Except for the legs and head, the coat is thick and full. It's a double coat with a straight, rather hard outer coat and a softer, abundant undercoat. The collie's mane and neck is specially furry. The tail is very hairy, as are the hips. Number 3 their coat color. The Collie has two coat types, rough long hair and smooth short hair. The rough Collie has an abundant straight outer coat that is harsh to the touch and a soft furry undercoat that is so thick it is difficult to see the skin when you part the hair. The smooth Collie on the other hand has a short dense flat outer coat with a thick undercoat. The Collie comes in four colors, sable just like Lassie, tricolor black with white markings and tan shadings, blue merle silvery blue and black and white predominantly white with markings. Number 4. Their Personality the well-bred Collie is sweet, friendly, and gentle. She is a family dog and enjoys being part of all household activities. She enjoys playing with them and protectively watching over them. If those qualities weren't positive enough, Collie tops them with her intelligence and loyalty. This dog is smart and learns quickly. She would probably swim through shark-infested waters to save you, just like Lassie. Number 5. They Need Early Socialization Like every dog, the Collie needs early socialization. Exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young is a must. Socialization helps ensure that your Collie puppy grows up to be a well-rounded dog. Enrolling him in a puppy kindergarten class is a great start. Inviting visitors over regularly and taking him to busy parks, stores that allow dogs, and on leisurely strolls to meet neighbors will also help him polish his social skills. Training the Collie is a breeze, but like any dog, he needs early socialization to prevent him from becoming timid. He also benefits from obedience training. A quiet command should be a part of every Collie's training program. Number 6. Their Temperament Rough Collies should show no nervousness or aggression and are generally great with children and other animals. However, they must be well socialized to prevent shyness. They are medium to large sized dogs and they generally need a home instead of being in a small apartment. Like many herding dogs, Collies can be fairly vocal but some are easily trained not to bark. The amount of herding instinct varies, with some dogs being quite drivey and others being calmer. Number 7. They shed a lot. If you or any of your family members are allergic to dogs, don't buy a rough-coated Collie. Not only does the Collie blow out its coat each spring and fall, it sheds year-round. Brush your rough-coated Collie every day to minimize the amount of fare that ends up on the rugs and furniture. It also keeps Collies from developing doggy odor. When the coat blows, you can actually pull large amounts of hair right off the dog. Number 8. They are lively and highly energetic. The Collie lives comfortably in the city or the country as long as she has enough exercise. A brisk daily walk and yard play are sufficient. Mostly she wants to be with her family, meaning she is not a candidate for a backyard lifestyle. If left alone for too long, she tends to bark excessively. While some barking is normal in this herding breed, that's how she warned the Shepherd of the Wolves. She'll bark her head off when she's bored, lonely, and otherwise frustrated. Excessive barking can be avoided by letting the Collie join in all family activities and by keeping her mentally challenged with ongoing obedience training or dog sports. Number 9. Their Grooming 
The amount of grooming necessary for the Collie depends on the variety. Overall, the Collie is a clean dog with minimal doggy odor. The long full coat of Rough Collie needs thorough brushing twice a week, even more frequently to keep her looking lassie-like. While brushing once a week is sufficient for the smooth Collie. Begin accustoming your Collie to being brushed and examined when as a puppy. Handle his paws frequently because dogs are really touchy about their feet. Make grooming a positive experience filled with praise and rewards and you lay the groundwork for easy veterinary exams and other handling when as an adult. As you groom, check for sores, rashes or signs of infection such as redness, tenderness or inflammation in the skin, in the nose, mouth and eyes and on the feet. I should be clear with no redness or discharge. Your careful weekly exam will help you spot potential health problems of your rough collie. Number 10. They are good with children The playful Collie is known for her love of children, even those she wasn't raised with. She's highly protective of the kids in her family, watching over them and keeping them safe from danger, just like Lassie did for Timmy. As with every breed, you should always teach children how to approach and touch dogs, and always supervise any interactions between dogs and your children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on the part of either party. Teach your child never to approach any dog while he's eating or sleeping or try to take the dog's food away. No dog, no matter how friendly, should be ever left unsupervised with a child. Alright guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Rough Collie. Let us know in the comments if your Rough Collie is different from anything we've said in the video. Also, give it a thumbs up if you like the list. For more videos like this, click on our channel and of course, don't forget to subscribe.